Joining me now, Michael Schallenberger, investigative journalist, Substack columnist, who has been closely reporting on big tech censorship. Michael, good to see you. Thanks for coming on the show. Appreciate it. So, look, I am stunned by this. I am certain you are not. Um, so, so explain to me what is going on with TikTok here. Yeah, I mean, it's a great question. And of, of course, there's not many answers because TikTok does not really give much explanation for these arbitrary decisions like you're pointing out. You know, um, I myself have been censored on TikTok for making the claim that there's two biological sexes. That's something that's broadly <laughs> held by all scientists, basically, um, all legitimate scientists. Um, that Censored. We also saw Jennifer Say, the former COO of Levi's, has started a new clothing company to defend women's sports. They've been uh, censored very significantly by TikTok. They did have a conversation with TikTok, but did not get uh, straight answers. Look, I think people have to understand that social media companies are regulated by the U.S. government under a different standard than publishers like News Nation, The New York Times, or even my own publication. We're considered publishers. Social media platforms have special privileges under what's called Section 230 of a 1996 law yeah, that gave Internet companies special privileges, including uh, uh, protections from liability lawsuits and whatnot. If they're going to have that special standard, then they need to let adults decide our own legal content rather than, be than behave like publishers. You can't have you shouldn't be able to have it both ways. All Congress needs to do is make it clear that if you're going to take advantage of this really sweeping protections from liability, then you should have an obligation to allow those of us who are adults to choose our own legal well, content. And, and look, I, I don't, I don't have a problem with the idea of certain extreme content, right? And again, how you define that becomes the question, right? Where do you draw the line? I get it; these are tough lines to draw. But it, it seems to me that TikTok is going way beyond any line one might draw and simply saying, well, you know, this is a segment that either is about Israel or pro-Israel or, and it does feel like, I have to tell you, just based on my personal experience, that the segments that I did, which were, let's call them more pro-Israel, as to the opposed to the ones that were more critical of Israel, were treated differently. Now. I think what you're saying is that there's never going to be a way to prove it because we can't get inside the engine or the people that are doing this, right? Well, yeah, and also in this particular case that you're describing, you have to remember you're you're talking about posts on a conflict. So if their artificial intelligence algorithms are being triggered because the content is related to a war, then they're then you're not going to be able to have uh, content about various conflicts in the world. For that reason, I mean, you have to remember, we, you know, kids are exposed to pretty violent previews for movies all the time. We actually allow a pretty significant amount of violence um, on television. Yes, there should be some amount of discretion. But again, I think for adults, particularly adult content, and there probably does need to be uh, some sort of, per, you know, regulation on that, because I do think kids should have a different standard. Yep. Um, you know, we need there to be some clarification of these rules, because now that we're all on social media, it's not like you can go back to the old days of print newspapers or old, uh, you know, radio and television spectrum. We're in a new age. And so if you suddenly have um, censorship by like the three to six largest social media platforms, they can completely control the debate. And then you can't have a proper debate over things like Israel, over things like girls and women's sports, over transgenderism or climate change or energy or all the other issues that are being heavily censored. So... And, For and, me, I just think that that needs to be the standard. And, and they won't give an explanation either. That's the just as maddening as any of this is just you get back these sort of flashes. Oh, you appeal this appeal. You get a red thing saying, oh, warning on the content. And no one explains to you what's going on. All right. Michael Schellenberger, good to see you. Thanks for coming on the program. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.